so I did an IP, an IP uh, trap, see who the so-called hackers are or want to be hackers or whatever. I set the website up where it limits how much traffic's, you know, speed they attack with, you know. And uh, I did a few other things just to just to limit their attacks. Slow down so if there's a <clears throat> if there's a an attack where they try to hit your website really fast to slow it down, then you can you can fight against that. Just limit how many times it can be loaded. And so I looked at all the IPs. You know, they're coming from Warsaw. They're coming from Netherlands. They're coming from Russia. They're coming from data centers Ontario Ontario Canada I looked up where these uh, the major the major hits are coming from right and so I've come to the conclusion I don't know why they waste their time <clears throat> I couldn't because I don't I don't put anything important on that on that site, you know, anything personal, anything important. I come to the conclusion that these are just psychopaths. Why would they hit why would they hit the webs why would they hit some website out of all the millions of websites out there, why would they mess with mine? Think about that millions and trillions of websites why would they be hitting my website to try to hack that all I've got is audio messages up there of me driving down the highway recording a message it's either somebody some kid in a, in a basement of his mama's basement some woman that's at home all day bored and her husband's at work and she's just sitting at the home, at the house all day or it's a government agency one one of the IPs was the police department in uh, California that's bizarre isn't it so you got all these <coughs> agencies and agents trying their best to shut down anybody who just tells you that Jesus saves. Jesus alone saves. That's all. That's all that website's for. That Jesus alone saves. And they're spending all that time and effort and money and energy. They're wasting their time. For what? And they've been doing it for 30 years, people. 30 years years they've been attacking lying everything they can just to try to shut down somebody that says Jesus alone saves now seriously doesn't matter what platform you go to doesn't matter if you create your own platform it doesn't matter 30 years people attacks 30 years not not one year, not one day, not a week, 30 years that Jesus alone saves. They hate that. Thirty years, people. Before Facebook, before Google, before uh I don't know what they're trying to get. I don't know why they're trying to, uh, what they're trying to do. Except the only conclusion, because I've said, that I've been doing the same thing for 30 years. Jesus alone, it's faith alone and Jesus alone, period. 
Otherwise, you're going to burn in hell forever. You're going to burn. Repent or burn. But they can't stop. They can't stop. And it's like that same spirit jumps on different ones. And so it's, 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 uh, these people are demonic. So it's a, it's a game, game theory, I guess you call it, uh, where it's a continual war. It's just a steady war, you know? I've had jobs in the past where you see if a, if a manager finds out or a coworker or somebody in a different position finds out that you're, you're, you're a born again saved person. I don't even, they don't even know what that means, but something jumps in on them and they start to attack you. Or somebody higher up tells them they got to attack you. Some their their boss or their somebody above them says attack. You know, so they come in to attack, and then they find out. Well, this person's helpful. This person does a better job than. most of the ones in, in his position and then they end up saying well I don't really want to attack this person in their, in their gut they realize they don't want to attack this person they don't want to attack that person because they know that person is has, has only good intentions for them I've seen, I remember one situation. The lady uh, was trying to give me a hard time and she made the comment. She says, You really do care, right? I said, What are you talking about? Yeah, everybody should, everybody should care about every human, right? They miss, I guess they mistake. You're trying to tell them to get saved, run to Jesus, avoid hell, and they think that's an attack. Anytime you're preaching uh, the simplicity is in Christ, their mind thinks it's an attack. It's a, it's like they think anybody who's a Bible believer is attacking them. They think you're the enemy, and you're actually trying to get them saved. You're not the enemy. You're trying to get them saved. Isn't that bizarro land, people? The very one who is trying to help them and everybody else is just lying to them, trying to use and abuse them. The one that's trying to help them, they attack. I know you've seen it. If you're saved, I know you've seen it. Whether it's your spouse, whether it's your in-laws, your outlaws, your bloodline, your neighbors, you're trying to get them saved and they attack you. They, they think you're mean. Bible says if you don't run with them to the same excess of riot they speak evil of you doesn't matter if it's online offline the reason I went to online to study this thing is to see what's really how this thing works because it doesn't matter if it's online or offline they still act they still the devil has no new game right so how is the how does the game work? I've watched it for thirty years. How does this work? There's a hint in the Bible. <clears throat> it says let the younger women marry, bear children, go to the house, give none occasion for the sake for Satan for the devil. Sorry, I was chewing something. Let the younger women bear children, guide the house, give none occasion for the devil to speak reproachfully. For some have turned aside unto Satan, (coughs) running from house to house, speaking things they ought not. Just like in the computer program, there's a daemon in the back. It's just always running here and there and here and there and here. The daemon, the daemon, demon, daemon, daemon, demon. So the daemon program is obvious. Uh, God asked the devil, what have you been doing? I've been to earth, running to, going to and fro, up and down in the earth. Seeking out who he may devour. 
So they're going here, there, they're going over here, there. They're looking for who they can devour. That's the demon program that's running them. That's running them in the Warsaw data center. This in Poland. They're using all these IPs in other countries, right? That's the demon program running them. They're going about who to see who they can devour. Running, saying this, all these lies here, here, doing this, doing this, going here, doing this, trying to find somebody to devour. To and fro, up and down, here and there, going here. That's all they live for is to devour. You see that with the... Uh, with the evil woman in Proverbs. She's standing on her front porch as passers by trying to draw in those who don't know any better. Come on in. Come in. I'll just put new sheets on the bed. Come on in. And the Bible says she's taking people to hell with her. My husband's not here. Come on in. My husband's gone on a long journey. Tells you the demon spirit's a female spirit. The devil has no identity. Remember that. His only identity is lies and murder. The devil has no identity. He lost his identity. He got kicked out. And so these people who are doing this, trying to persecute, trying to shut down a website or anything like that, they have no identity. They lost their identity.